Hey, folk, what's going on? All right, like I've said before, you guys know I can't stand doing these political uh, videos, but I'm going to do it anyways. But um, this one is about the defunding of the police departments and so forth. Um, here, locally, in Middletown, Connecticut, they uh, took defunded $200,000 from the police department. And uh, they are setting up this anti-racism task force or whatever, or committee, whatever the hell they want to call it, right? <clears throat> now, my thing is, here, here's the problem I have, and in, in, in plus the wording and so forth, and part of it, if I don't get it 100% correct, I read it a couple days ago, but it was like they wanted to set up a anti-racist committee, and they want, and they're putting an emphasis of um, a preference of minority members to join it. So, I wish they would say those words a little slower, because they're about unity and all this stuff, and equality. Well, when you are putting a preference on certain individuals, that's not unity, and that is not equality. And if you don't see that, in my humble opinion, you are stupid. Now, anyways, they took the $200,000 from the police department to do this. <clears throat> now, my thing is, I live, I, I, I stay per, a, a lot of the time on the north end of Middletown, which is the bad part. Um, when I park at night, when I go boondocking, I go out to the woods, and even when I ur urban boondock, I go elsewhere because I don't want to be on the north end merely because it's loud. You know, it's nighttime. Um, I'm ready to crash, and I don't need people yipping and yapping going by. It's it's loud. Uh, there's fights here. I don't want to risk anything happening to, to, to the vanitarium at night. So I park elsewhere. <clears throat> I prefer the woods. But that being said, I'm on the north end quite a bit. And... I don't see racism. And now this isn't coming from some white guy that uh, you guys get to use all your terms like, oh, I don't know what it's like to be a minority. Uh, I don't know what it's like to be this and that. I don't know what it's like to be harassed. Uh, first of all, yes, I do. Um, secondly, I, it's it's... I'm in a predominantly black area when I'm on the north end, okay? And for those who aren't black, if you're white or Puerto Rican, the vast majority of these individuals out here are low income, very low income. So that being said, and it's not just me saying this, this is the blacks, this is the, 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 the Puerto Ricans, the whites, everybody out here. In this section of town, we're saying we don't see this racism. At least the people around me are saying that. You know, you're going to have your little whiny ass freaking uh, uh, um, drama queens everywhere. But for myself and the vast majority of the individuals I hang with, none of us are seeing this, this uh, racism. You know what I'm saying? I could take a picture of the clique we have out here. Where you have the white boys, you have the black dudes, uh, you have the brown dudes, yeah, you have the really good tan dudes, uh, you have the native dudes, uh, this and that. We're all just sitting here chilling. Now, if your expectation is perfection, and there's never going to be a time that somebody gets angry, and whether the white guy and say, you freaking inward, or whether you're a black guy and say, you freaking cracker, you, you know, whatever. It, it, or, or or a Puerto Rican saying some racial somebody or or whatever. If you if you're looking for perfection and think that's never ever gonna happen, well then I don't I don't know what to tell you. But the vast majority of the time that happens on this end of town, 
it's usually something out of anger or they've been drinking too much or whatever, whatever. And usually it's squash real soon. Hey, man, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Da, da, da. That's that. That's the type of stuff you get out here. OK, <clears throat> now you high moral, higher ups, big money folk living on the other side. Now, if you guys are seeing a bunch of racism there and that's how you're living, then my suggestion to you is to come to the North End and learn how to live properly when it comes to stuff like that. Okay, yes, the North End has its problems. You have the drugs. You have the alcohol. You have the violence. You have the lack of education. You have the lack of, uh, uh, of, of um, finances. You have all that here, okay? But what we are speaking of specifically right now is racism and you guys are sitting here saying you see racism, you see racism, we have to battle racism, we have to do something about it. Well, if that's true, that means it's coming from you. You, you higher ups, you big moral folk, you awesome people who've got it made that know everything. And, and my suggestion is you come here to the north and learn how to live properly. Because we don't have that here. It, it, it's not happening. And, and, and like I said, you're going to have your drama queens, like all these people, oh, the cops are always harassing. The cops on the North End aren't harassing anybody. Except the people selling drugs. Except for the people getting drunk and passing out and pissing on the sidewalks. Except for the people who are getting high and, and, and passing out on the sidewalk and, and need to get Narcan. Eh, maybe harassing them a little bit. You think? But you can walk down these streets perfectly safe. I have not seen, in my humble opinion, and I have lived in many, many places, I have not seen a, a finer, co more cooperative, and understanding police force than, than here in Middletown, Connecticut. I, I, I haven't seen it. And, and the things that, that Middletown has to deal with, people hanging on the block every day, I'm one of them. They'll go down there and hang on the block and everything. You do this in other towns here in Connecticut, go to Hartford, go to New Haven, go to Bridgeport, see what happens. Them cops will jump on you. You know, they, they have to deal with people who get drunk every single day. And I'm talking drunk. Middletown, Connecticut is, is like a recovery town. They have all sorts of recovery places where drunks and addicts go to, to, to get help. And then a lot of the times when they get out, they end up staying here in Middletown. And... 90% of the time, if not higher, 95% of the time, they end up relapsing and blah, 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 blah. But anyways, the point is you have people who are not just getting drunk, not getting bust. I'm getting, I'm talking smashed to the point where they're passing out on sidewalks, pissing on sidewalks, starting fights. They're blacking out. Uh, they've got to be taken in an ambulance and taken to detox. That, that's what, this is what they deal with every single day. They have to deal with people every single day doing dope. ODing, have to get Narcan, God willing they survive, or they may die. That's what these police are dealing with every single day. The fighting, the shootings, stabbings, that's what they're dealing with out here every single day. And you want to take $200,000 away. You want to take uh, uh, their ability to defend themselves away. I'm sorry. Chokeholds, very effective. You let some big dude ready to go off and smack you and your partner around. Huh? How about you? You no, you're, Let's pretend you're not a cop. You're just walking down the street. And this guy's going after your old lady or something or going after one of your kids or something. And you could go run up behind him and get a nice chokehold on his ass. You gonna do it? I think so, unless you're a coward. So you want to take the, 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 the defense mechanisms that these policemen have and have been trained to use you want to defund them and take their money you want to you want to sit there and say because they have military style stuff that they got to lose all that so why why if there's some psycho in wesley and here in freaking middletown and he's up in the window with a gun popping people in in, in, in the middletown please show up with that nice big old uh uh tank looking truck whatever the hell uh, i don't know what the hell to call it the uh um, 
that big vehicle they got, like the big Iraq thing, and it's awesome. The thing is freaking awesome. It, w- wouldn't you love to see them police show up in that, and you can hide behind it while the bullets go tink, tink, tink off of it, and they can sit there in a defensive posture and take that guy out so you don't die? You going to tell me you wouldn't mind seeing that big old truck there? I bet you would. Oh, but you get angry because you don't want it to be seen in the freaking in in, in the parades and and it shouldn't be shown out in the out in the the driveway. Come on, man. You are going to weaken. You're going to defund and weaken the police department to the point where the criminals are the ones that are more powerful, and you're making a huge mistake. And I just want to say, I support the blue. I support the Middletown Police Department. And all I got to say, along with that, is there are bad apples in every freaking bunch. And the vast majority of the police on this force know that, that there are people in the North End that are pure scumbags. And there are people on the North End that are absolutely awesome. And there are people on the North End that are good people that are just screwing up from time to time. And I, I believe they know the difference. And it's the same thing with the police department. There's good cops and... On occasion, you find a bad cop. But I am of the humble opinion that the vast majority of them are good cops. That's where I stand on this. I'm going to leave it at that. And I think all you little drama queen, higher up, high moral individuals need to come down here with us low folk and learn how to live proper. Till then, always forward to the next adventure. The vlog is down.